The nice thing is, I don't have to drive this. Scores like golf, is it right? Yeah, lower is better. I think we're going to go with that, King Philosopher. I keep trying to tell people that, but they don't believe me. Welcome to Passenger Mode. Use the left and right arrow keys on the keyboard to move around the coach, and to take a photograph, press Control X. Control C. S. S! Jeez. Turn the HUD off. Don't need the HUD. Notice we start in the passenger cab. Passenger cab in the passenger. Off we go. We're off. I'm not driving this. This is the train driving itself. Bayern Museum Albula. I feel the need to be one of those people that stands up. Stephen Jam, essentially this is um, requires a fair bit of scripting in the loco in the scenario script, but it's certainly possible. Essentially, you um, I don't know how it's been done here, but the way I would approach it is to have points on the route, have it have markers, and you go effectively you have scenario instructions that are go via a marker and then when you get to that marker you trigger a scenario event and the scenario event adjusts the throttle and the brake accordingly and then you just have a bunch of events that make it so that the um, it continually checks or even just have it so that in each marker it says what speed it should be doing and then um, there's a constantly running condition which is just updating the controls to maintain or achieve that speed there's, there's a number of different approaches for it Watch the trolley lady doesn't take me out. Nah, she's alright. It's basically an AI train. Um, no, actually, this is a player train. Uh, I mean, effectively, I'm in the cab. Um, so it's a player train, but the, the script in the scenario is what's actually driving the train, I don't know if I understand it correctly. Do you earn points? Yes, you do, actually. Don't troll me, I want points. 956, does that mean we're already losing points? It wasn't my fault. Can you do passenger view on any route? You can do it on any route, however, you need to write quite a complex script to make it happen. this view actually because you only got one chair in the way Can you use the horn? Yes, you can. Is this with teeth wheel in the track? I don't think this has got... No, it hasn't got the... Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> no, it hasn't got the... Um, um, 
what do they call it? Rack and pinion. Are you still technically able to drive the train? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, there's the throttle controls. We're down to 914 now. I'm not impressed with this scenario. <laughs> drive quality 20. Hopefully at the end there's a thousand point bonus. That would solve that problem, really. But yeah, if you watch the um, the HUD, you can see the computer driving the train. Enjoy the route without that. The hard thing to do would be to represent a passenger stop, not particularly. Not particularly, because a train can pretty much work out, well it can work out um, how far it's travelled. So you could have an in, um, a scenario instruction which tells the train, at this point you need to be stopping in 500 metres. And then it could bring itself to a stop in 500 metres, so you could, certainly could do that. Again, it, it, it is, you know, it's scripting work you'd need to do to calculate that, but you certainly could do it. It's a change not having to do the driving. He says after we've just done a Twitch place. GW, is anyone else sitting in their head as the train leans into a curve? It is quite neat, isn't it? Why not do some train spotting after this? <laughs> now, after this, we've just got um, one more scenario, a little half hour uh, with the Alco S2 on Springfield. Oh, yes, um, need to change the game over so we're not on Twitch plays anymore. We're not. Shouldn't say Twitch plays anymore. Moobot's certainly not saying it. Good night, Chris. 5012. What I might have a go at doing is creating a framework um, in scenario script that you could use to make passenger mode scenarios and then all you'd need to do is drop the markers down which would then drive the strain essentially. I'll have a go at doing that at some point because that would make mean that anyone can make a passenger mode scenario quite easily then. Uh, Stephen Jam, FL9 Snow on Springfield. Yep, absolutely. Not tonight, but certainly I'll get it played.
Hey there, Mona Man Younger. What did you think of um, today's video? On the, uh, the official site. Would that have to be a TS update? No, a passenger mode framework is just a Lua script that I can put out for people to... Uh, I'll put it out with an article about how to use it and do a video showing it and then you can just download it and the video will show you how to do it. There'll be railroad down there. A steam train using chat control on Twitch. Yeah, I need to do another one. I need to spend a bit of time on the bot to make that work better. Where are we going? Don't have a torch. We're going to Prada. So we're going around all of the loops. And that's Prada there. So effectively, yeah, we're going round the loop there, round the loop there. On our way to Prada. Can AI train spat? It's a difficult one, that is, because technically, no, they can't. However, there are three different representations of a signal in the game, which means it can look like they spat, but actually their own representation was a green or a yellow, when the one that you saw in the game was a red. So it looks like they spat, but they don't. Um, it's yeah, it's tricky. Um, and it's because, there are, say, there are three, because the 2D map has its own rendition of what signal is on. The AI see the signal in a particular way, and then the actual 3D model has its own version of the signal. It's very confusing. Seven hundred and seventy points. I guess it is doing better than me, but Hey there, Spin Josh. Welcome. Like to order something from the snap car train track travel, would you? <laughs> you can go and get it. Get me something as well while you're at it.
tuned into Paul because just as I was watching, yeah, well, one of my moderators told me that Paul was watching the video, and uh, but I didn't know where he was in the video, so I just tuned in. I thought, I know, I'll come and say hello, and it just got to it just as it got to my bit. I was like, hey, <laughs> oh, look at that view, look at that view. <laughs> Hey Tyrone on one, welcome. Bones got someone just send me a whisper, that's fine. I'll get to you when I can. I want to have a choo choo. Can you do a tutorial on how to re-letter signs? Scenario complete. There you go. So that was the end of this passenger mode scenario. Which I thought was rather good. Albeit um, with a bit of drive quality erroring going on there. Oh, I didn't. I only got 686 XP for that. Well, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> How's that going on there? Oh, well, never mind. Right, okay. So, uh, last scenario, 